joined by Josh Smith of Southwestern here in the clubhouse at University Ridge. Josh, uh, today shoots a 75, and uh, I know the front nine was uh, a great start. Back nine had its bumps in the road, but uh, all in all, can you first time up at the Ridge, can you be happy with things? Yeah, I'm very pleased. I mean, if you would have told me I was going to shoot 75 today, probably would just laugh at you, but you know, I'm, I'm very pleased. First time up here in a tournament, you know, especially at the state level, I'm very pleased with how I did. Can you tell me what was going through your mind on the first tee, and then you know how that all changed once you go, you know, birdie par birdie? Hit the fairway to start. I mean, <laughs> that definitely helped me calm down a little bit, and then making that 25 footer on one, you know, definitely helped things. And you know, from there on, I was just trying to make as many pars as I could. You know, because you get a par up here, it's a nice thing, and you get a birdie, it's a bonus. So, you know, I made a couple long ones there. I mean, I was probably one putt in the first like seven of the eight holes. And, you know, from there, I was just trying to stay steady with it, but. You know, I, I miss, made some long ones today, but then I made up for missing some short ones. But overall, you know, I'm pretty happy where I'm sitting. And the bogey on nine, what happened there? Um, I didn't hit a very, I was didn't hit a very good uh, approach on the game. Left myself probably, you know, a good 75 footer or so. I mean, you know, I put myself in a spot here that I don't want to be there. Sure. You know, I just about made that second one. He just caught a little bump on the green, but you know, 35 in the front on the, you know, I'm a, not gonna play about that. So. And I know you said earlier you're not a big fan of the back nine on this course. What happened there? Uh, and how, I mean, what? How did it set up for you mentally, looking out at some of the tree line holes? And did that have anything to do with it, or was it more on the greens? Um, you know, hole ten. I mean, you got more room than you think there. But it, just looking at it visually in a you know golfer's mind, it just kind of scares you a little bit. You know, I end up hooking my drive down to some trees and laying up. You know, making my bogey. So I mean, you know, figure what you know whatever, and just try to get it back in the par five. And sure enough, I did. But and after that, the putter got a little loose. You know, missed two, three footers in the next two. And, you know, I thought after that I was just trying to make a par. You know, get one on the card. But you know, it just kind of made a mess at 16. But I made up for it on 17 with a nice birdie there. But, you know, like I said, you know, I'm disappointed in the way I always finished, but all in all, it's a pretty good day. Did you birdie 11? Ah, uh, yeah. And then what did you do on the par three? Um, I bogeyed that. It was like a three footer. I had a nice little chip down the hole and sure. ended up missing it. But. Yeah, it, it, can this course? I mean, I'm sure you played some practice rounds. I mean, is that uh, is that a stretch of holes in the back there that can, you know, be up and down for people or for golfers, or is it the um, way you played it today? Was that just the way it went? That's the way I played that's just how it went, but definitely I say if you get through the first three holes, I think you're sitting pretty good. If you go, you know, three pars in a row, it's pretty good. I mean, that's what I was just trying to do, but you can sneak a four on number 11, but it's difficult there. I mean, you got to have a pretty nice tee shot to get it up by the green, you know. Just take them when they can, you know, sure. just try not to make mistakes, because out here they'll definitely find you. You talked earlier about your first practice round here with Little Adventure. Where was that with the Cuba City golfers? You got going by a golf ball. That doesn't happen every day. Um, that's just the first time I ever got hit. Uh, Hit my drive down the right side on 11 down there, and the kid hit it from behind me and caught it right on the down slope, picked me right in the chest. And if I would have been on six inches more, I probably would have caught it between the eyes. But you know, you know, I know the kid pretty well. He's a nice kid. You know, obviously you don't try to do that stuff, but you know, I kind of felt bad for him after that. But you know, I didn't sting too long after a while. I started losing nothing. I don't even feel it anymore. But yeah, I was kind of scared during that hit. Me, though. So the goal tomorrow is to, to really uh, close on a good note with that back nine. You've been hitting a golf ball by a golf ball in the back nine. Now you. You had your struggles today. I mean, what is the what is the game plan for tomorrow? How do you come out here, you know, in contention in this tournament? Uh, I would say hitting the fairways. I mean, I'm pretty pleased with my ball striking right now. I mean, I couldn't ask for too much more. You know, I'm hitting them on the green, giving myself good looks. You know, they don't go in. You know, I'm you know, putting pretty good tempo wise for the pars. And, I mean, just hitting the fairways right now is probably what's going to do it for me. I did swing the driver very good today, so hopefully that'll be there tomorrow. Well, we'll let you get some uh, rest, and uh, good luck on day two of the state tournament. All right, thank you.